Here we have a very simple encounter set up to demonstrate the bot class I'm working on. These pawns are placed directly in the level, and they have a few simple properties that can be set by the level designer. They're assigned to a squad, they're equipped with a certain weapon, and their controller class is configurable. We can also set an override to force them into a particular tactical role, but in this example we're leaving it to the discretion of the AI. This squad object coordinates high-level tactical decisions of its three member bots. It also has some properties that dictate how the bots will behave. We've set this squad to start asleep, so it won't respond to players until it's awoken. There are a couple of other properties that allow us to specify under what conditions the bot should awake. We've also provided the squad with an explicit flanking route, as well as a retreat objective. We've specified in the properties that it's allowed to call a retreat, and that it should do so only when one squad member is left alive. There's also another squad over here consisting of only one bot. He'll wake up once the player walks through this trigger, and then the AI will take over and begin attacking when the bot sees the player. There are a few Kismet nodes to support these bots. The first squad, with a single bot on top of the wall, just has one action to wake him up. The group of three is slightly more complex. When the player steps through a trigger, a scripted sequence begins, wherein the man in orange moves forward and fires at one of the bots, triggering an explosion and waking up the squad. After the squad is awake, its behavior is dictated solely by the AI. This event node lets us respond to various events throughout the life of the squad. In this case, we play a sound effect when the squad orders a retreat, and when the squad dies, we lower a gate that was blocking the way forward. Let's see how this encounter plays out in-game.